everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel and today I have another wish video for you guys and before I start showing you guys the items I do want to remind you that um, I think it was the last wish video that I put up I have stopped um, holding on to the packages and just doing a blind opening with you guys I do open these products now as soon as they come in which is very happy for me so I don't have an empty package sitting there and I'm like I want to open you um, <laughs> now I can just open them freely and that way I can test out some of these products and decide, you know, if they're any good. Because sometimes you don't know, when, like when you first get it, you don't know if it's any good. Okay, so for the first item, this is called um, a scripted beanie and it is $4. And here it is, I got it in gray. And I'm not usually the person to go for beanies. I always thought they were kind of weird for my head. And honestly, I still think that with this, but I like the print on it. I am a nerd. I love reading and hello. <laughs> um, so here's the pattern up front, a little bit closer. I don't think this is all like actual script. Like I don't think it's supposed to say anything. I have no guarantees I'm keeping this on, but a little bit like it's kind of a short beanie. Like I, I feel like beanies are supposed to have more fabric to like mess with. And this one is just not that large. I don't know if I just got stretched out a little bit. It's like, it's okay. It's just not something I would gravitate towards. Like, I feel like I would have to pin it. Like, I feel like it's gonna fall off my head. It's okay, like, I like, I like the pattern on it. I think the pattern is adorable, and especially in this light gray, because it makes the black script just pop. But I, I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think? Hmm. Yay or nay? Hmm, next item. Okay, this one I'm super happy about because I love this thing. I have been playing with it all the time. And to you guys, that probably sounds really weird because you don't know what it is yet. But it's a little mochi squishy. It's not like sticky, which is great, but it is like a rubbery squishy. This was only $2. And if I remember right, I think there was a couple of colors that they had for it. That or maybe you ordered it and you got one of the colors and I got the green one. It's got like a white powdered detailing on it to make it look a little bit more like a mochi ball. I don't know what this one is filled with because as you like squish it around, it feels like it's got like the rubber outer casing and then almost like something of like a gel on the inside. I don't know, they're like separated, but like this feels so cool. I've sat here for like a half an hour going back and forth and it is a little keychain too. That's not bad. So a while ago, I decided to start doing my nails and I do this every once in a while. I don't have them on now, but I have a set of fake nails that I buy from like Walmart and they're plain clear. I think they're like a white clear technically nail and I just glue them on and I can paint them whatever I want, which is what I really like. Yes, they can pop off. Like even after 24 hours, I might pop one off, but like all I have to do is carry the glue around with me and place it back on. And I don't know, to me, I'd rather have that because I know that if I really need to take them off, I can just pop them all off. But they also do stay on pretty well. It's usually like my most used fingers that fall off the easiest, so these first three, of course. And they're really not that expensive from Walmart, but I did want to see like what Wish had as an option. Um, so I found these and they're called coffin nails. I think these are more for like acrylic based ones. I really don't know. I apparently need to look into them a bit more, but I thought they were just a set of nails to glue down. I'm like, oh, I've got glue, so that's okay, no problem. Yeah, so I think these are for the, the tips of nails. <laughs> My bad. So yeah, these are for acrylics. Um, so I don't really have much of a use for them. Here those are. So they've got a curve at the bottom and a curve at the top. And of course you'd probably um, use the acrylic down here and then cut this down to whatever you needed. There's a hundred nails in here, a bunch of different sizes and everything. So this isn't necessarily bad. It was bad on me because I got the wrong ones. Yeah, so if you do acrylic nails and you're looking for nails like this, there you go, Wish. And I found this on Wish. It's just a little basting brush. If I wanted to do like a barbecue rub or something, it's kind of tiny, but honestly for a basting brush, you don't need that much. Um, it is silicone. I mean, I can tell this is kind of made cheaply. I think it's even cheaper than the um, silicone little spatula that I got before, but I think it'll do its job. 
The only thing I just noticed too, because I haven't got a chance to actually use this because since I moved back home, I haven't needed it. One of the little hair things up here. Yeah, this one right here. It's actually snapped. It's shorter than all the other ones and I don't know why. And a piece of it's not in the bag, so it came like that, I guess, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, next item is a necklace. And this one I saw and I thought it was adorable. I had to get it. I guess you'd say I am kind of a spiritual person. Um, I do consider myself a Buddhist. I converted a couple years ago over to Mahayana Buddhism. And um, I've also studied a lot of Dharmic religions and these things are really, really neat to me. I have a huge interest in um, world religions. And I found a little hamsa. It's adorable, but there's a close-up of it. It's got a lot of detail in it, which I think is great. Will this tarnish? I am 100% sure that it will tarnish. It's only $2, but it's still pretty nice. And it's got a decent chain on it. It's got like a slightly long part to it. So this is my little arrow necklace that I always wear. And the hamsa is just a little bit lower than it. Okay, and the next one is a clothing piece. So I will be inserting a little video of uh, me trying it on fully, even though um, I have worn this one a lot. I actually really like sleeping in it. It's pretty darn comfortable. So this is a two-piece tracksuit set and I got them in a medium in black. I am normally a small in US sizes. So of course, when you're buying on Wish, size up. And this actually fits me pretty well. So here are the shorts and they are actually kind of like a high-waisted, which is nice. I'll show you a little bit more in that little clip. Um, on the sides, they do have a two-line trek, one side and on the other. Um, they do have a drawstring and the drawstring actually works which is good to know because I know sometimes they don't. <laughs> it's just decoration. These do work. And here is the top. Again, not too bad. As you can see that this is a little see-through, so of course this is coming from Wish. Sometimes the fabric is not that great. This is a little thin. Um, it's not as thin as I thought it would be, so not horrible. But I wouldn't go out in this. Like This is like for sleeping only, and it's fine. Um, it is actually a little long, even for me having a big chest. It does fine. And the detailing is continued on the sides of the shirt as well, which is nice. Last item that I have, not very happy about. This one I got really mad about. I've seen this item a lot, and I've seen it also like on Amazon and stuff, and I'm like, huh, let me, let me try it. Because again, because of course, as a woman, I can be honest about this. We have peach fuzz on our face. Men have it too. But theirs is of course darker, that's why they have beards. But um, peach fuzz can be sometimes annoying. So I saw this and it's one of those as seen on TV. Um, it's called Finishing Touch Flawless. It's a facial hair remover. I just wanted to see it and try it, I don't know. Yeah, it says it's supposed to remove hair instantly and pain free, which would be kind of nice because I have tried some other things that are supposed to get rid of peach fuzz, um, like those manual epilators that have like a spring and the two ends are little nubs and you like curve it and then you can like go like roll it across your face. So I was kind of excited to try this because I know that that thing does actually hurt. I know you can get used to it, but like it hurts still. And I was like, oh, let's try this and see. So I was like, oh, this is awesome. You know, it came with the little um, the little piece here. It had a battery, a little cleaner. Like, it came with a battery. Like, do you know how many actual electronic things come with a battery? Not many. They don't. Um, had the instruction manual and everything. But the thing is, I'll, I'll put this in for you guys real quick. And mind you, you can tell of how cheaply this was made because it doesn't even have like a full insert here. So of course you take the cap off here and you're supposed to be able to bring this up and a light turns on, but nothing happens up here. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. Why? Cause it doesn't work. <laughs> so I was very mad when I got this cause I really wanted to try it out to see how it went and no, it didn't work. 
and I kept wondering if I was doing something wrong but literally that is the only button that is on this thing and it's not even technically a button and all, all it does is turn the light. Okay well that is all the items that I have for you guys today. So as usual for any of the products that I have looked over today I will have those links down below if they are Broken links, I am very sorry, that just means that the seller is closed down, but that doesn't mean you still can't find that item. Other sellers will still have the items there. So that is all that I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you like me, then please subscribe. Thank you!